right, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique, and today's video is on this new collection from ColourPop called The Fade Into Hue. And look at this. This is every rainbow lover's dream. I'm a rainbow lover, so I'm super excited to get to play with this today. And along with that came this little case that has one of my favorite things you guys know by now is their cream gel liners. And these are like a rainbow collection. There's some pastels and some bright colors, and I'm very excited about it. So this palette has metallics, glitters, matte, and they what they call sparkles, which I think is like a satin. These are so pigmented. This is a glitter shade. Oh my God, that came off so good. Look at this. I am obsessed. Okay, I'm going to do like kind of like a hot and cold look because I want to do that um, TikTok sound, the snow miser sound or whatever. So I'm going to do like a cool blue up top and maybe like a red under the eye sort of thing. I'll make sure to put all the prices down below for everything, you know, how I like to do it. And then also in the description box, there will be links for these. And I do have a code with ColourPop and it is 5 Angel Leap to save you some money. And let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. I'm just starting off by priming my eyes a little bit with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This is my favorite. I'm going to start by taking this shade Iconic and take this on a small shader brush. And I'm just going to use it to stamp on like where I would cut my crease. I'm not going to really do a cut crease, I don't think. I don't know what I'm going to do. But right now I'm just worried about getting this color laid down. And just an update on my weight loss since I've been talking to you guys about it a little bit. I have now lost 68 pounds. I've been kind of stalled at 68 pounds for a few days, but that's okay. This is kind of the shape I'm going for. And I'm just going to take that brush and lightly go over the edges to diffuse it some. Just a little bit, not too much. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade called Take It Easel. I take that on a little blending brush and I'm just gonna go right over the edges of this to blend it out. Make it a little more diffused. This palette is so pretty, oh my gosh. And it just is blending so easily. Just gonna go ahead and blend up. And then I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and that first iconic shade. And I'm just gonna go back in and Blend that back out, like deepen that back up, bring some of that color back. And then I'm not going to add any extra product to the second brush that I used with that lighter shade. And I'm just going to use it to blend it back out. That's how I blend. I just go back and forth until everything is the consistency, the hue, and the blend that I want all together. Sometimes I do have to go back in two or three times, but that's perfectly fine. As long as it looks nice and blended at the end, that's all that matters. So I guess I will go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit because it's cut right now, but I just want it to be like a little bit more sharp. I'm really gonna have to get Botox one of these days because I can tell like as I'm getting older right in here my eyelids are starting to get like wrinkly and that's like bothering me so bad 
Now, it doesn't have to be super, super perfect because I'm probably going to go in and add some glitter anyways to sharpen up that crease a little better. I'm going to go back in with that Take It Easel shade. I'm going to press that all over the lid. And right here, I'm just gonna create like a wing type shape with this, just like this and drag it up. Next, I'm gonna take some Anisolity Beverly Hills glitter adhesive, it's liquid. I'm gonna put it on my hand. You can put it on like a little palette or something. And then I'm gonna scrape out a little bit of this shade called Kaleidoscope, I'm gonna put it right in there. I'm just applying that right in there. Getting it mixed all around in that glitter glue. So it kind of looks like this. Then I'm going to take this Cut Crease RX by Mellow Lops C2 liner brush. I'm going to get it all in there really good. And then I'm just going to use that as the line to outline the cut crease. Okay, I switched out the brushes and I went with the C1 instead of the C2. Okay, so now I'm going to take another little shader brush, which is this one right here, and I'm going to dip into this shade called Paradise. I'm going to start packing that right underneath the lower lash line. I want it to be pretty pigmented, so I'm packing it on pretty good. And then once I have it laid down like I want, I'm going to just draw it up to meet this line here. I'm going to blend it out. Now, I have like a dip in my eye right here. And so on camera, it always looks like it's waved. But it's like perfectly straight in real life. But it's just like how my eye curves down right there. I hate the way it looks on camera. And I'm just blending it out like that. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but it'll look better in a minute. Now I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush. I'm just gonna use that to blend this down into like my blush. Type a little bit of this Lovecraft shade on my brush and then tap it here just to help me bring that down and blend it into my blush. Okay and then I'm going to do the same thing here and try to blend this a little bit out. I'm taking this shade called Art Deco. It's kind of a shimmery shade and I'm just blending that right up under there. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of this shade called Abstract and I'm blending that right down into that. I'm taking a little bit of this shade called Lucky Charm, popping that on the inner corner but more towards the bottom so that it goes more with the red. And then I'm doing the same thing and mixing that Lucky Charm shade in with glitter adhesive and I'm lining the outline of the underneath. I take this ColourPop cream liner and this is in the shade Joyride. I'm gonna pop that right in my waterline.
Okay, I put some mascara on. Now I'm gonna go in with these Shaney Cosmetics Blue Eyelashes. I'm gonna go actually go back in with that Iconic shade. And I'm just gonna stamp it around the lash line just to give it a little more depth. Next, I'm going to go in with these two Shiny Cosmetics Vegan Vibes Only lipsticks, and I'm going to use the shade Walter and the shade Cookie. I'm going to start with Walter on the outside. And then I'm going to use Cookie on the inside. And then I'm just going to tap my lips together until it blends. Then I'm going to add this Minus Cosmetics Lip Icing and it's just a clear lip gloss. Okay, so this is the final look using the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. I'm obsessed with this palette, and I really wanted to do the Snow Miser sound on TikTok. So that's why I did, like, the cold and the hot. Okay, as always, I will put a link for the palette and the cream liners in the description box. And I do have a code of ColourPop, which is 5 Angelique. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.